Prince Harry, 34, is often called upon by his grandmother, the Queen, to represent the UK monarchy on excursions overseas. During one particular trip to the nation of Belize the Duke of Sussex revealed an impressive skill, what was it? Prince Harry delighted the public of Belize after he visited the country, at the request of his grandmother Queen Elizabeth II, in 2012. Prince Charles' son, 34, headed to the country in the March of that year, in a royal tour which also saw the dad of one Colleen at the Bahamas and Jamaica. Harry, who is now married to former Suits star Meghan Markle, then made a final stop in Brazil for a trade mission. Yet it was in the nation of Belize where he revealed his fancy footwork and perhaps unexpected dance skills. Royal writer Katie Nichol detailed the incident in her book Harry, Life, Loss, and Love. She wrote of his role on the royal excursion, it was down to Harry to prove he had it in him to be a statesman, as soon as he touched down in Belize he was taken to the capital, Belize City, for meetings with the Prime Minister and other dignitaries. In his tailored suit, Harry looked the part and impressed his host with his enthusiasm for the country and its culture. At a street party he wore a typical Belizean shirt, sampled the local rum and danced to traditional Creole music, which allowed him to show off his dance moves. She added, even for such an important state visit, Harry seemed relaxed and at ease for the most part. It therefore seemed clear Harry's cheery, down-to-earth demeanor had proved a hit. Meanwhile, Express.co.uk reported how on another tour Prince William's little brother was offered some sage advice on protocol. Harry has ventured around the world on diplomatic missions on behalf of his grandmother the Queen, including setting up his own charity in Lesotho and a trip to Morocco with then-pregnant wife, Meghan. The dad of one was sent on a 36-hour trip to New York by Queen Elizabeth II, yet one hobby favored by Princess Diana's son appeared to be out of bounds. Documenting the official excursion in 2012 in her new book, royal writer Kitty Kelly said, Harry knew it was a great privilege to be making his debut overseas tour and he was determined not to let his grandmother down. When he touched down at JFK International Airport on Friday, May 29, the American press were all ready to receive their royal visitor. Harry's reputation as a party boy preceded him. But Harry was representing the Queen, and so nightclubs were off the agenda. Kitty, in her book The Royals, quoted the trip's schedule organizer Jamie Lothar Pinkerton and added, Quite frankly, I think he will be cream crackers and want a good night's kip. It appeared a heavy night out would not have been at all suitable for the schedule especially the poignant start to his time in New York.